I was told I'd be interviewed by Detective Lambert. I'm Detective Geneviève Lambert. I'm an officer with the Gendarmerie Nationale, but I'm here as a representative of ICPO. Interpol. Yes. Le fichier bleu, s'il te plaît. Sorry, I thought you'd be... A man. Older. I get that a lot. I presume this is about the Pinot family? It is. Uh, va voir si je peux me chercher un café, s'il te plaît. Merci. I spoke to detectives around the time of the abduction and afterwards. I was led to believe the case had been closed. A number of cases were handed to the cybercrime division of the Gendarmerie by some local branches of police. I've just been tasked to identify which need further investigation, that's all. I see. You've travelled all across Europe. I was with Northern College. It's an elite nanny agency based in Bath. They place us with high earning families that travel a lot, so obviously where the kids go, we go. It's a nice way to see the world. It's hard work, but yeah, we get a bit of time to ourselves. Is this part of the interview? No, no, this is just small talk. C'est quoi ça? Un petit café par moi. I'm sorry, you've lived in Paris. How can you drink this stuff? <laughs> it's a bit of an adjustment, all right. What do you know about Bitcoin? It's a digital currency, right? Yeah. And blockchain? I've heard the phrase, but I don't know what it means. It's a decentralized list of transactions across a peer-to-peer -peer network designed to secure the authenticity of cryptocurrency exchange. It's basically a digital trail of breadcrumbs. This is part of the interview, by the way. Okay. Investigatively speaking, it's a gold mine of information. You see, all you need are the details of one singular exchange and all subsequent entries are just easy to follow. One breadcrumb leads to the next, to the next, etc., etc. Here, a lawyer in Nice was involved with the kidnapping of a five-year-old boy. His mistress turned him in, and he gave us the details of how he was paid off in Bitcoin. Now imagine our surprise when we found the name of a Norland College nanny a few entries later. Should I be speaking to a lawyer? That's up to you. But I will tell you this. You see, my bosses are not interested in prosecuting the hired help. They want to cut the head off the beast. Hypothetically speaking, if I were to cooperate without admitting guilt or knowledge of any illegal activity, what exactly do you want from me? I need another breadcrumb. Your transaction details. That's all. When the money will be forfeit. Obviously. Here is an immunity agreement. If the information you provide us leads to an arrest, you'll be in the clear. Oh, you'll definitely need a lawyer to decipher that. I've had a look at it. It's like trying to understand ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. How long do I have? We're going to venture out into this charming little city and try and find real coffee. When we get back, I'll expect an answer.